Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will be discussing the Qatar travel and return policy. Now, if you are planning to travel to Qatar, this information will be helpful. I will also share the link to this information in the description. The information is freely available on covid19.moph.gov.qa. This is the official Ministry of Public Health website for Qatar. So you'll basically understand exactly what you need to do it in order to travel to Qatar. So currently Qatar is open for international tourists, yeah? Or travelers. Now Qatar has basically segregated all of the countries on a green, yellow or red list, depending on how the country is managing COVID or what is the current COVID situation inside the country, right? So if you open up the green list on the website, you can actually see there's a handful of countries that's there. Uh, countries like Australia, Canada, Croatia, etc. And then I will just quickly show you the countries on the yellow list. Yellow list is a little bit longer than the green list. And then last but not least, I will show you the countries on the red list. Now, as you can imagine, the red list is the longest list here. It's quite a number of pages. It's about eight pages to be exact. Unfortunately, my country is on the red list as well. So yeah, the Qatar travel and return policy. So this policy was basically updated on Monday 12th of July 2021. So it's a little bit more than two months ago. In order to facilitate entry procedures into the country, the online pre-registration on Etheras website www.etras.gov.qa has now become optional for citizens and residents. However, pre-registration is still mandatory for visitors 12 hours before travel to obtain a travel permit. Now, Etras is an app that we are currently using as residents in the country and citizens are also using it. So all of your information is on there. And your Etras app is basically directly linked to the Ministry of Public Health information. So whatever your current status is in terms of uh, vaccinations, your health status in terms of COVID will be on there. So you have to usually display your, your Etheras app, which is on your mobile phone, whenever you are entering a mall, a supermarket, a restaurant, um, basically anywhere where you go outside of, your, outside of your apartment, you will need to show the Etheras app, right? Because Wherever you go, you need to show that you are not currently uh, under observation for, for COVID or you do not currently have COVID, right? So that is the purpose of the app, one of the reasons. And on top of the app, you also get temperature checked. Yeah, so what it does is it makes you fairly confident that uh, whenever you're going to a supermarket or mall, for example, that everybody inside there is basically uh, doesn't have COVID, right? So it does help with that and giving you a bit of peace of mind. So now travelers coming to Qatar will also be required to register on the on the etiras.gov.co website in order to obtain a travel permit. The goal of launching the pre-registration platform www.etiras.gov.qa is to make it faster and smoother for travelers arriving at all ports of entry into the country. The new procedure will be as follows. Travelers who have completed the pre-registration and uploaded all required official documents, copy of vaccination certificate, copy of PCR test results, etc., will be allowed to use the designated fast track route to proceed directly to the immigration checkpoint without stopping at the Ministry of Public Health's counters. Yeah, so again, guys, it's going to make it easy for you to enter the country. If you have a big family, make sure you, you get this done so you don't have to waste a lot of time after a long flight. Um, it, waiting in another queue to to basically get checked by the ministry of public health between brackets only for individuals who meet the criteria making it easy and faster to get into the country in case several members of your family have completed the pre-registration for example vaccinated parents with unvaccinated children our team will review the health procedures in advance which will allow the family to use the designated fast track route to complete entry into the country easily The online pre-registration will give our team the opportunity to review visitors' data and, pro and process their requests in advance, which will reduce waiting time for travelers when arriving at, all, at ports of entry into the country. 
Once the pre-registration is completed, travels, travelers will be provided with information on the procedures that he or she will have to follow and the checkpoints that he or she will have to stop at upon arrival in Qatar. The data of citizens and residents who have completed the pre-registration on the website will be stored in order to facilitate the process of submitting new applications in the future. Yeah, so that's just basically all the information on the ETRAS registration procedure on the website. Super important, guys, if you're planning to travel to Qatar. So definitely check out the links. So let's move on. So it says, MOPH has announced the following updates regarding the COVID-19 travel and return policy effective midday on Monday, August 2, 2021. Updates to the country classification list. So for those coming from the following special risk six countries zone, Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, Sri Lanka. Those vaccinated recovering from COVID-19 in the state of Qatar are subject to a two-day hotel quarantine and are allowed to leave the hotel on the second day if the results of the PCR test is negative. So basically you need to stay in a quarantine hotel, which is specially designated hotels. You need to stay there if you're coming from these countries for at least two days, if you are vaccinated or if you have been recovering from COVID. The rest of the people are subject to a hotel quarantine for a period of 10 days. Yeah. So the rest of the people are obviously, based on this, I would presume are those who are not yet vaccinated. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.